welcome to my channel today i'm going to tell you about the significance of a torch like characteristics we have already completed the dc machines and the rotating generation of the magnetic flux and also the three phase induction motor and today we will see about the significance of a torch like characteristics so what is a statement actually what is meant by torch like characteristics is the graph which is plotted between the torque and the slip for a particular value of rotate rotor resistance and rate reactance is known as torque slip characteristics of a induction motor now we know that the formula of a torque of a three phase induction motor is ks into r2 e20 square by r2 square plus x uh, is x20 whole square this memorize this formula because this calculating formula if i explain to you it will be a great long video okay so just memorize this formula if you write directly this formula for this question they will give a mark compulsory okay here the x r2 and the x20 values are considered to be as a constant values so these as these values are constant these values and these values are neglected in this okay here s s is nothing but a slip okay Hmm. Here, torque slip characteristic curve can be observed in three different regions. One is low slip region, and another one is medium slip region, and the third one is high slip region. First, we will see for the low slip region. What is a low for a low slip region? When a rotor moves with synchronous speed, speed of the rotor equals to the speed of the magnetic field. The slip is s is equal to zero, which is the linear form is generated between the torque and the slip. Okay, that is S is very small in this situation, so S x twenty is to be neglected. But by uh, substituting this formula, we get R two R two cancel, and as we have said that R two and E twenty are constant in this torque characteristic, so it uh, torque depends on the slip uh, actually. So it is a linear graph is plotted between the torque and the slip, where k is a constant value. Okay. Now, what is this medium slip region means? It it is not uh, overall S is equal to zero. It is not overall S is equal to one. It is a medium S is equal to S M region. Okay. Here the graph here here you have up to this this linear one this S L form we have got and here the curved part is called the S M which is the medium part. And here torque is equal to K S R two E twenty by S M square. This is the torque formula in the three phase one. So here we have already observed that X twenty E twenty R two are the constants by applying this formula. As the torque decreases, then the slip increases. So it is inversely proportional. Then we can get a hyperbolic curve. Okay, this M is the maximum point here. What is this maximum torque or pull out or break down torque? Okay, it is represented by M. Now the third region is the high slip region. For high slip region, S is equals to one. Here there is no slip condition. It can move in any direction. So there is a no guarantee of giving a curve in this form also. So you have wish you can give here any form of the curve. Then here we cut slip at one point. Here slip is cutted at one point because it hinders in this in any direction. And in this uh in this phase, the machine stops to work. In high slip region, the machine stops to work. Okay, remember is this point very well. Okay, now we will see the overview of the significance of the torque slip characteristics. Here this is S is equal to zero and S is equal to m. S is equal to one. Here the three uh, resistors are propagated, which is a uh, R two, R two C, R two B, R two A, which is uh, in the um, ascending order. Sorry, sorry, descending order. And here we have get the maximum torque. And this is the maximum starting torque. And by this we can observe that whose resistance is small, whose resistance is a low value, we can get their maximum torque as fast as it is. Here we can observe that it has a low resistance value. We have got this uh, maximum torque very easily and in a very fast way. This is all about the significance of the torsional characteristics of a. may uh, induction motor 
so uh, i have already updated the videos as i had previously said that dc machines rotor generation and three phase induction construction and working everything so uh, i will also keep the fourth chapter and the fifth chapter units and this uh, third second first i will try to do data belly so don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon of my channel thank you everyone